because I found the Asian culture so 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 interesting to me man and the people man here I wish um, we have the same thing here in the UK right our friend the people huh? I am pretty sure you may have come across these places. You know about them, you search about them, you research about them, you want to go there, you dream about visiting these places. Whatever big cities around the world, you know about these places. These places are famous, they're well known. They're well known. Well, there's a certain places people overlook. Places like Malaysia. Yeah, Malaysia. You may have never heard about it or know nothing about it, but you should know about it because it's a big deal. It's a must. Yes. I love going to Asia because it's one of the places, continents I truly love. Yeah, let's say it got it all for me, man. If I want to relax, if I want to like just chill, if I want food, if I want to meet all the most amazing people, Southeast Asia got it all for me. It just tick all the boxes, literally tick all the boxes is the honorated places are the kind of places i like going to i'm not i'm not joking i like going to that because i don't know nothing about it so as you so as many people don't know nothing about the country or the place see so places like malaysia not a lot of people knows about it yeah of course maybe people oh okay go on, on google they type in the same thing oh malaysia i just want to know some quick facts yeah the first thing you'll be presented with it's like Malaysia is the Muslim state of course second thing I'll say it's it's a multi-diverse country still people don't tend to go there a lot there's still tourists go there uh, let's say Kuala Lumpur is among one of the most visited cities in the world Kuala Lumpur yeah it's beautiful it's gorgeous more than amazing so nice the thing is like let me tell you a quick story right I never knew nothing about Malaysia unless you have zero experience the only way I came to find out about Malaysia, if my memory served me well, I was in Phuket, in Phuket, Thailand, Bhutan. And I was just chilling, I was staying in a, at a hostel. And then one day, and this Malaysian guy checked in. I didn't even knew he was from Malaysia, so he checked into my hostel. He was a very friendly guy, man. He was so, so friendly, that guy. And then we started to talk. He asked me a question, oh, where are you from? I was like, oh, really? You know what I mean? Like, he just asked me, like, he was so cool, mate. He's like, you, you like food? I was like, yeah, absolutely, I love food. So that's one of the reasons why I travel the most. So I was like, okay, if you really love food, then there's one place you need to go to. I was like, oh, what is it? He was showing me pictures. I was like, yo, you need to go to Malaysia. I was like, really? I don't know nothing about Malaysia, so that's the beauty of it. You need to go, and then you need to prove people wrong, right? You need to see things right, and then I promise you, you're gonna thank me. I was like, okay, I get curious, and I was like, how far is it? So the good thing is, it's not far. So that's the thing about it. So from Bhutan here, you can fly to Penang, literally, fly there an hour, it's very, very quick on the plane, and guess what? It's very cheap as well to fly. I was like, oh, okay, I'm sold. I'm gonna go to. I went to Mal I went to Penang, or at the airport, and I also came across by some few Malaysian family as well. The like the ladies, the the old ladies, pretty much like the ladies. They're so so nice. It was like, yo. I was like, yeah, I'm going to Malaysia. Like, Actually, are you going there? Like, yeah, where are you gonna go? I was like, oh, I'm gonna check out Penang, and and then I don't know where to go. It's like, oh, you need to go to Kuala Lumpur. It's a great city as well. I was like, oh, really? It's like, yeah. So and when i was there and i came to see so many like different culture different people from different backgrounds it's fascinating i felt so at home and that's the beauty of it and i love it i love it so much so and then i was like okay you know what it's time for me to try the food yup my god man see malaysian like flavor it just reminds me of the african flavor west african food it's so good man and it just reminds me it just give me like a flashback of and some of the food that my mom has cooked for me over the years and I absolutely felt like I'm at home you know what I mean so and I started to eat all the food and interact with the people the people are absolutely lovely and I was like I don't understand why people don't come to this country it's so amazing man I was I was beginning to love Malaysia I was, I was so, I was starting to love Malaysia so much, man. And I met some few backpackers as well along the way, interact with them, and then we all came to love and Penat. Exploring the source and the street art. The street art is absolutely sick. They're so so good, man. Like it's so creative. It's absolutely creative. And I, of course, man, I jump on a bike and 
I did some polls and stuff like that and I posted on Instagram wow this country is truly underrated man it's literally it's so cheap like transportation getting around it was so bloody easy I don't know because maybe maybe because my currency is quite heavy but like it's maybe triple or double the, the currency of the, the ringgit in Malaysia but I, I, I was like yeah man this this is the place I want to like be coming to for a very a very long time and I was like you know what because I started getting into uh, making videos like, okay you know I was like okay since I'm absolutely loving it here in Penang uh, in Penang I was like okay you know what I think I should pick up my camera and start recording things and yeah man, I started recording things and I started making video about Malaysia and in Kuala Lumpur as well and things start to kick off and you know the Malaysian people tend to love the content I create as well and I was like you know what I'm from Penang and I took a bus right to Kuala Lumpur I mean I took a plane to Kuala Lumpur I took a plane I trudged down and yeah I was so excited of course jump on the escalator I was going crazy just me just being me man and of course I made a video about oh the five things that surprised me about Kuala Lumpur. Hey, I didn't actually expect that because I don't I, I knew nothing about the country, right? Everything looks so bloody developed, man. It's so modern. I'm loving it, man. The night market is absolutely insane. That's why some locals say I went to the most touristy like night market, Alo, night market. So and in Bukit Binta, I was staying around that area. Man, the night market was so full of life, man. Different culture, different people, the food is so rich and Hey man, it's just buzzing, man. Of course, it rained. It rained big time, man. So, yeah, man. I, I just keep loving Malaysia, and I was like, yeah, man, this is the kind of place, man. I, I was so me. I was so happy. I never felt so happy. And I was like, okay, maybe it might be the, it might be the same thing if I go to Singapore. I went to Singapore and I met some friends there. The people are fine, are cool as well. But you know, deep down, I didn't actually felt the vibe that I was getting from um, Malaysia compared to Singapore. This video is not about Singapore, Malaysia, no, I promise you. It's just my experience when I was in Malaysia in general and why Malaysia is so underrated. So, yeah, man, and I left Kuala Lumpur. I made a few videos about Kuala Lumpur. Singapore is absolutely gorgeous, so futuristic, so good. So I went back to Malaysia and then I started revisiting certain places. I went back to Penang and because I want to try the Nasi Lemak, I want to try more of the street food there. And yeah, man, I just love Malaysia so much. And that's how I get to, that's how I get to love Malaysia, my experience. And I was like, okay, Malaysia, of course, man, it's so underrated. If you go through my channel, I've made a lot of video about Malaysia because I want this channel to focus on Southeast Asia because like Asia is the continent for me see so sometimes it's good to like go into certain places and explore and when you find something that actually represents you that makes you happy that actually bring the best out of you and that's the sort of things that you should focus on and of course my focus in it and then at the same time trying to do other things that can actually fulfill that thing that makes you so so special so that's the reason why I try my best now from now on to focus this channel on creating Asian videos whether it be Malaysian videos Singapore or going to other Asian countries like Vietnam the Philippines or going to Cambodia and Vietnam all those countries yeah so I want I wonder because I found the Asian culture so 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 interesting to me man and the people man here I wish um, we have the same thing here in the UK, right? Our friendly people. Huh? Some people, um, don't get me wrong, they're very friendly, especially um, when you go to the northern part of England, right? Because like those people, they're quite chill. But in the city and London, it's not friendly at all. So London, we all know, is a very, is a very well-known city. Yeah, man. So I think like, Malaysia is an absolutely underrated country, and I, ha I want you. If you ever got a chance, like if you are in, in in Thailand or if you're in neighboring country like Laos, like Cambodia, Vietnam, I advise you, I please I advise you to pay Malaysia a visit, give it a try. And if you love food, you're never gonna be disappointed, I promise you. So that's it. So that's my advice and that's my story. How I how I get to love Malaysia, how Malaysia has impacted me in a positive way and how I see myself living in Malaysia in the near future. Maybe Malaysia is not for you, but at least give it a try. You never know. You see, everyone got um, places that they truly love, right? 
Some people, they just made video about the Philippines, some people made video about Thailand, about Vietnam, other countries like England or America, some people make video about different things that makes them tick, but they're interesting. So that's why this channel, I just made video about Asia, right? Asia because I love Asia, yes. If you're thinking, my background is African and I'm from London and yeah, I'm black. As you already saw, I'm black, yo. I'm black. I'm black, yo. So I always say this, my love videos. So respect go a long way, especially in in in, in total countries like Asia, in Africa. Respect, man. If you don't have money to give to someone, but if you respect them, the way you talk to them, the way you behave, the way you respect certain things that they believe in, man, they gonna accept you. They gonna absolutely. They gonna be like, wow, you you come from a good home. That's what I tend to portray. You know what I mean? So thank you for watching. So yeah, Malaysia. It's one of those countries that is so underrated.